In the last video I made, there was a new feature visible, and I carefully said nothing about it. In this video, I'll explain what it is. First, a minor change. Each of the player characters in the party panel now have colored frames. Um, this is significant. On the minimap, you can see that colors corresponding to each of the player characters have a little symbol there, and I'm not positive that I like that symbol yet, but for now that's what it is. Except for red. Red will always be the party leader, and the party leader continues to be represented by this arrow. So why did I do this? Well, there's a, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, you can see now where each player character is standing in the dungeon, but that was a secondary effect of, of why I did this, and that was that I want parties to be in formation. So as I take a step, you can see the party members maintain this formation I've given them, which looks sort of like the letter A, maybe? It's a default. At some point, I'll have a UI component that will let players configure any formation they want, and as they move through the dungeon, their player characters will attempt to stay in that formation. Uh, when combat breaks out, which I have not covered yet, individual characters will be able to move freely. So this formation is more uh, of a of a uh, way of grouping player characters as they move outside of combat. Now there's a couple of things to consider with formations. What I'm about to show as I walk down this narrow hallway, a formation can't be maintained that way. They, they can't stand like that, so the player characters stretch out into a line. Hopefully then, as we enter this larger chamber, they will reform back to their formation, and yes, they do. I had to add a new command to actually wait for party members to catch up. They move with all at the same speed, which means any time an obstacle is encountered and the formation is deformed, they can't reform unless you give them a few steps to catch up to you. So, uh, I was pretty happy with some of the algorithms and things that went into figuring all this out. It was, it was fun, I guess you could say. And now I'll just wander around a little bit and let you get a chance to see the party members trying to stay together. You may have noticed a few extra monsters going by. That's just for fun as well. I did finally fix that problem that you may have seen in earlier videos where you could walk through monsters. Can't do that anymore. And one thing you may notice as I'm walking around in formation here, as that is the lead character steps into a space occupied by another player character. He's displaced. And there's another of under other considerations going on there. The reason why this formation stuff is important is that it's going to be key in combat. And the next video, which should cover line of sight, will, in addition to making the dungeon exploration a lot more interesting, also will be key in combat. And I guess that's all for now.